Hello, hello everyone, welcome to Cure Design. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial I show you how to create this nice um, animation, cookie eating uh, animation, um, like this. You can use uh, this or you create this with a patch editor. You learn uh, something about the animation, animation loop patch and also how you can use the switch for this animation and work with uh, 3D objects, of course. So let's start. Okay, let's start with the 3D object. So um, um, Sparkle uh, um, has a library right here uh, where you can find uh, different object patches and so on. So just search for cookies in this case, or I want to search for a special cookie Christmas cookie. And I want to uh, use this German Christmas cookie. In German, we say, uh, we call this one uh, Vanilla Kipfel, um, yes, and pretty sweet. And just download it, perfect. And add this cookie to your scene. Blub. You don't see it because it's a little bit bigger than we need. And make sure, I think in this case, 0.08. Is fine. Yep. And we need the uh, patch editor. Add the patch editor to it. I want to make sure that the angle, so uh, this is a kind of the null object or, or the group, the parent, and um, just make sure that this cookie is in the same position because yeah that's that's fine i think that's okay because we need the um position later and we just rotate it a little bit so the ankle we really see a lot uh, a lot of the cookie later again just don't like mustache christmas mustache <laughs> okay perfect um now we need a face tracker face tracker here and add the cookie to your face tracker so that looks fine for me and put it out of the camera so this is our start point don't see it anymore uh, that is fine don't need it uh, so far away so this is also fine maybe like this and we fix it later so we really just see the cookie um, when um, when we open the mouse uh, later so it's okay when you see the cookie right now um, fine uh, we need now the face tracker so in the patch editor because when we start with a function of our cookie or our mouth uh, openness uh, or mouth open in this case uh, you need the reference of your face so make sure that you uh, implement the face tracker and it's simple simply with drag and drop it into your scene uh, into your patch editor sorry and now we need uh, for our face uh, the mouth open Right, uh, there is the mouse mouth open state and openness. We don't need the openness later. And for our cookie, we need the position of our face tracker. Go to the face tracker and go to mouth. And we have here the information of uh, the upper lip, uh, lower lip, left corner, right corner. I'll just use the lower lip, for example and connect the lower lip to a transition. So, and we don't want to um, connect it with the start, we want to connect it with the end point. 
because the start point would be this information right here. So um, go to your uh, cookie and just use these information of the position. Or oh, this is a little bit easier, so we can really use the information right here. That would be cool. Okay. This looks correct, right? There's a minus before that. I don't see this um, just in case. Yeah, it is. Okay, perfect. So we start there and when I open the mouth, um, um, the transition uh, goes to the um, mouth upper lip. And connect the cookie information right now. So the position, we need this again and connect it with that. So and now nothing happens because um, there is no information right now. It's on the in the start point. But now we need the um, and loop animation because we want to start the animation and uh, it uh, repeats itself. So uh, add the new loop uh, animation to it. Add the patch. Perfect. And use this progress. Just whoop for this one. And when I open my mouth now, it starts with the animation. And well, way too slow, I think. So it's, uh, of course, you can uh, modify the start point. So it's a little bit uh, near, more or nearer <laughs> idea, <laughs> closer, of course, closer to um, your um, end point. So start point to your end point. But also you can, of course, manipulate or modify the duration. Way too fast. So seven again, maybe. And of course you can, if the, uh, this is a linear um, transition, if you can, of course, uh, go and s choose some other curve, animation curve. So of overshoot or Yeah, but just try and you see what is a little bit, you see when I open the mouth, the uh, cookie stops uh, in the middle of the transition and we don't want to, ah, sorry, we don't want to, um, we don't need that. We need a pulse. Uh, we need uh, an action uh, later uh, for the open when it's open, on and off. So go to add a pulse. And you can um, add the pulse is off to the reset. So when I open my mouth and step in the middle, um, it set it uh, the transition to the start point again instead instead of um, well, steps in the middle of the animation. This could be be really helpful, but I need this pulse later for the other animations or animations I want to add to the patch editor. So what I do now is add a uh, sender to the turn on and turn off so that I don't have to connect every single patch to this pulse and um, I can uh, separate the um, other animations a little bit easier. So this, it's not necessary, but it could be very helpful. So you can organize your uh, patch editor a little bit better. So go to sender and this sender, I call this one mouth open or just, of course, you can also uh, just call this open. And this one is uh, a sender two. And this is mouth no mouth close. Perfect. Go to uh, this little sign here and make receiver. And now you have a receiver for mouth close. Add this one right here. It's like um, a remote control or something like that. So ah. Uh, yeah, perfect. 
this is nice. And now we want um, to add a partic partic particle filter to it. So when I open my mouth uh, or when the um, cookie floats in my mouth, uh, the crumbs comes out. And I think that that, that is a nice feature, makes um, it more realistic uh, in Tüdelchen. And we just add an emitter to it, particle system emitter, this one. Make sure it's also connected to your face. And of course, we need the same um, position like uh, in th this endpoint right here. So go to the position and connect it. Ah, perfect. Just a modifier these things right here. We don't need this billboard. We want it a little bit more interesting. We add the lifespan to one second. Angle vertex five. This one just created before because I and shape type is fine. We add the material later to it and go up here or down here and set this one to minus 14. Think, yeah, like blah. Okay, uh, the settings are pretty nice and we now need a new material. This material is the crumb texture. I don't, um, this is fine. Add new texture and I've just found something um, in the internet, uh, internet, and just at the background, it do doesn't look fine. I think there you will find a lot more interesting um, particles. I think so. This is nice, not realistic, but uh, it look, looks nice. And now we wanna make sure that you see this uh, birth rate, and we want to connect the birth rate rate also to in transition. So go to progress transition Bloop. and we need for this one just uh, the number so we start with three and ends with zero so it's like a pulse like three pops up and it disappears again okay so add this material and we add this to the, our birth rate um, transformation or just add Okay, this is nice, but you see this one single uh, particle. And now um, we go to uh, the visibility of our cookie we see right here and the um, particle system and go to add a switch. And we want uh, two informations, not flip. So we want uh, one information when the mouse is open, turn on and when the mouse is closed, turn off the visibility of our emitter and our cookie or 3D object. So we need to reserve this one and this one. Oh, one open, one close. Now we want to connect the visibility of the cookie and also the uh, this emitter right here to our switch. So we don't see it in our scene. And when I start, you see it right here, right? It appears, uh, but the cookie crumbs uh, should be delay, create a little a delay like um, the duration right here, seven, 0 0.7 add it to our emitter so it doesn't start with the mouth open it starts with the end point of our cookie transition yeah. perfect so you can go crazy with that uh, add more particles to it or yeah make it uh, more interesting i don't want to spend too much time but you have the idea of um, the function right now. So um, what I do now is to comment around. So this could be very helpful because when you comment uh, a section you can go to this one you can 
add this to another section of a patch editor and we want to create a green surface about around that and this is our object visibility why doesn't it object visibility am i right it looks funky for me okay and uh, now uh, the next part is um, the transition of our face so we add at first don't need the wi-fi hopefully it yeah perfect and we add a block to it blocks right here our face distortion block Add this one to your face tracker. Dada. And we don't need this because we just work with the squash. And add the squash to your patch editor. And now we need another switch. Add this one also, uh, mouth open and reserver for mouth open and closed. Perfect. And in this case, we start an animation and reset an animation. It's not an anima animation loop. We have this uh, squash is from zero to one. It's like 0% uh, to 100% of squashing your face. Okay, so, but we just create, uh, it's um, squash, squash out, or uh, the, exp uh, the face expands when uh, we eat the cookie and when it, when we stop, it goes back. And we need an animation for this one. Go to add an animation, you see we created also a pulse. And we want to start it. And we need a simple transition, like transition, like before. And we have also just uh, the number. So uh, we start with with a zero percent and ends with with hundred percent. So when I open my mouth now, yeah, uh, way too fast. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> way better and the thing is why because i don't use animation loop or something like that is when i uh, it ends with one and the animation ends also and uh, when you add an animation loop it starts over again or or something like that uh, that's why i use um, this animation instead of animation loop and now you see it starts with um the first moment you open your mouth but that we want also eat add in delay between that so delay by um, 0 0.7 so it starts with the first like uh, our emitter with the first cookie perfect and now I need the information that at this place reverse. Okay, it's it's bending. And it goes backward. Words. And that's it. So thank you very much for watching. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I hope you have fun with this little tutorial and please let me know if you have uh, designed crazy uh, ideas around this uh, kind of um, patch. And of course, uh, like this uh, channel or like this video, um, subscribe Ding! to this channel and tell uh, everyone uh, about this channel who wants to know this. Um, see you next time. Enjoy the process. Bye bye.